Today I'm making a video on the top 5 Mac apps 2015. Now, some of these apps are very useful and can save you a lot of time uh, doing some very basic tasks. Other ones just enhance your Mac experience. But number 5 on my list is a useful app called Caffeine. As you may have found out by its name, what it does is keep your Mac from going to sleep. Now, when you first open it, it's just a little icon in the menu bar. Uh, when you click on it, uh, this, this is disabled and this is enabled. Now, you can have it activated for a certain amount of time or indefinitely forever. And this is very useful in case you are downloading a really large file and don't want your computer to go to sleep. And that's number five. Number four on my list is another useful app. I've actually set it to run at login, and it's another app that runs in the menu bar. Now, what this does is clear your memory and tells you what things are taking up a lot of memory. In order to clean it, you just click optimize, and it's and that's how you clean it. It also shows how much pressure is on your RAM. Another cool thing about this is that you don't have to always open this to optimize it. There are hot keys that you can set to whatever you want. For optimizing, I've set command option L, and as you can see right there, it's optimizing the memory. And uh, it can be very useful for people, especially if they have 4 gigabytes of RAM on their Mac, which is not a lot if you're running an operating system like Yosemite. And another hotkey I've set for this is to open the tab, the menu bar tab itself, which is command option 0. And yeah, that's basically it for this, and it's very useful, and I definitely recommend it, especially if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM on your computer. Third is an application called Unclutter, which is more of a utility type application. It's so useful that I've set it also as a launch at startup type application. Now, when you open this, you get this menu bar icon. You don't really need that menu bar icon because it's sort of useless because the application really uh, does this is what it does. You move your cursor to the top of the screen and scroll down. You can configure the activation methods, but this is one. You can also set hotkeys, which the one I set is option space. And this comes down. This is very useful because there's different you can take notes, store files there temporarily or forever. They're going to stay there. And clipboard, whatever you've copied to your clipboard is there. And this is quite useful in my opinion and is become an application I use daily to take notes sometimes. Tastical 2. Now I find this very, very useful, especially for people who uh, um, have a very busy life. Not me, but still. This is quite useful. It's basically a application where you can type down info about an event and it'll make it for you. For example, if I say lunch at 2 p.m. tomorrow, it automatically makes the event that's called lunch at 2 p.m. tomorrow. And uh, you can also uh, change whether you're going to add it, to, which calendar you're going to add it to, by doing slash W or slash H for home. You can also change uh, it to all day by just saying lunch tomorrow all day, or you could add a location by saying lunch tomorrow at whatever the location is, and you press enter to add that event. And it's really that simple. You can also add reminders t to this too, except for reminders, all you do is type in rem remind me and whatever you're going to type. Now, for to change the pri priority of a reminder here, after you've typed in all your data, you add ex exclamation marks, however many, um, for the priority 2 means medium priority, 3 means high, 1 means low, and really that's a very useful app here and this is not all there's also the full calendar app for this it's basically a full calendar like this is a, um, a replacement for the original calendar app and I find this very very useful I forgot to mention that when a reminder or calendar event is added through Fantastical 
it is added to the iCloud reminders and calendar app. It is added here. This is just a different way of viewing what's in both your reminders and calendar app. What's in both your iCloud reminders and calendar app. For example, if I say remind me to buy hard drive, I can now open this and buy hard drive what I just added is in my reminders app. And really that's how this works. What's added through Fantastical is added to the iCloud reminders and calendar app. Now number one on my list is what I think is the best way of typing on your Mac because of these amazing features this special app offers. It's called typed and when you open it you you'll see there there's a quote uh, listed every single time a new one which is supposed to inspire you before you write. Now what's really special about this is the special Zen mode. When you enter Zen mode, the application goes in full screen and starts playing a soothing soundtrack that's supposed to help you concentrate on what you're writing. And uh, you can hear the soundtracks for yourself, but there are eight different ones to choose from. And I really think this is the best way of writing on your Mac. This is most definitely the best way to write on your Mac, and there are different options here, different backgrounds. I think this is the best one here. A few fonts to choose from. You can choose the spacing between the spacing from the border to the where you're actually writing. And really that's it. And uh, yeah, this is the best way to write, I think, while keeping your concentration. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, comment what you think, subscribe for more content like this, and as always, thanks for watching.